All right, so in our final lab for securing our Nomad environments, we're going to go ahead and enable ACLs on our server nodes, and then we're gonna go ahead and bootstrap the ACL system, and you can see how all that works. All right, so I've already configured servers B, C, D, and E for ACLs, but I have not configured server A yet, nor have I bootstrapped the ACL system. So let's go ahead and do that. So on server A here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up our configuration file. sudo vi etsy nomad server hcl. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new stanza in here, and I'm just gonna stick it down here at the bottom. So I hit I for insert, and I'm gonna scroll over to this other page, and you can see on my GitHub, I have an example here of enabling and configuring ACLs. Now in this example, I have a few additional parameters including token TTL, policy TTL, role TTL, and those are merely just examples of what you might want. Those are pretty short, so for this example, I'm not going to include those additional parameters. I'm simply going to enable ACLs and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna go back over here, I'm gonna paste that in. I'm gonna hit enter and then close out my curly brace there. And if you want to be picky about it, you can go ahead and move this over as well. So I've got my new configuration, ACL enabled equals true in our configuration file, and that's all you need. So I'm gonna hit escape colon WQ to write that. And now what we need to do is go ahead and restart our Nomad service. So sudo system CTL restart Nomad. So now we have restarted our Nomad service and our config file says ACLs are enabled. So what happens if we run a simple command like nomad status. So we get a permission denied because ACLs are enabled. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and bootstrap our ACL system. Now in order to do that, what we're gonna do is type in nomad ACL bootstrap. Now this is a way that you can simply provide the command without any parameters and nomad's gonna go ahead and create everything for you. You do have the ability to provide additional parameters, say if there's a specific string you want for the secret ID and things like that, there is that option as well. But we're just gonna leave it blank and let Nomad create everything for us. So if I hit enter here, you can see I get some information back. I get our secret ID right here, and this is exactly what we want. This is our bootstrap token. You do not want to lose this token. There is a way that you can kind of re-bootstrap the ACL system if you need to, but I would recommend just make sure you store this maybe somewhere in vault or somewhere else so you always have this management or this bootstrap token. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And in order to use that, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clear the screen here. I'm going to go ahead and set our nomad token environment variable equal to that new token that we just got. So I'm gonna do export nomad token equals and I'm gonna provide the value of that token and hit enter. So now that we have this value of nomad token, every time we run a command, the command line is also gonna send along this token with it for authentication. So now if we do a nomad status, you can see that we do not get an error. In fact, we get the results that we would expect. Nomad server members, we get exactly what we want. Now, if I were to clear the screen and I were to say unset nomad token, so we're gonna get rid of that, and I'm just gonna hit up a few times, nomad status, again, permission denied. If we were to say nomad server members, again, permission denied, because we remove that value from our environment variable of nomad token. So we go back and set that one more time just to show that it does work, and of course, nomad status, and there we go. So that's how you configure Nomad for ACLs. That's how you bootstrap your Nomad system and get your management or your bootstrap token. And finally, that's also how you would use your token and export the environment variable for Nomad token equal to the current token that you want to use. And then of course, interact with Nomad as expected. So that's it for this lab. Hopefully it was useful and we'll see you in the next lecture.